Hello everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Mal Plays. Today I'm continuing F-Zero GX with the Emerald Cup, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time yapping today, so let's get straight to it. Alright, here we go. Master difficulty. Fire Stingray. So, Firefield is the first stage on Emerald Cup. Let's put this on max speed because we are not going to be slowing down here. I mentioned in uh, my previous video, the Sapphire Cup, that uh, Firefield has one of my favorite sound uh, soundtrack tracks, I would say. Um, so it starts out with this kind of electronic slash heavy metal you know, mix. And it's a different type of stage than, or a different type of chorus than what uh, we've seen before uh, in this in this game. Oh, whoa. Yeah, probably not the kind of course where you want to try to attack too much because basically you have to depend on your grip to stay on the on the course there are no railings or anything like that so if you uh, move around and skip around too much uh, it's very easy to fall off oh yeah see <laughs> that's exactly what I was talking about and uh, if uh, I think I was a little bit lucky there because sometimes you know you end up flying off like that <laughs> oh okay wow <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get there <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, those bumps are a little hard to navigate, especially when you're going uh, very fast. I used to have a better grasp of where the uh, boosting platforms are, the acceleration plat platforms are in the stage. I kind of forgot since it, you know, it's been a long time since I played this um, on a much more regular basis. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. It's the guitar solo. It's my, my favorite uh, third lap switch up, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video. Whoa! Oh! Oh, hey! Oh, Black Shadow caught up. Really? Yeah, ah, no! No! Oh, no! <laughs> ah, I messed up right at the end. Oh, second place. It's not, not so bad. Yeah, he's just, just ahead of me. Man. Yeah, well. Ooh, green plant intersection. I really like this stage. It's got this Yeah, I think we're gonna I'm gonna put this on full full speed. It's got this section inside uh um a a tube, a transparent tube. I think it's a really cool gimmick. It's similar to 
that one um, port town stage inside the pipe, the long pipe stage. A little bit. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, nice, I got that guy. Yeah, so you get to this part where you can actually kind of see the world around. It's kind of... I, I really like this portion. It's almost like a water slide. <laughs> in like a water park or something, you know? Ah, yeah, sometimes I, I mess up on that part. Where, where the pipe opens up again and I end up like upside down and <laughs> flying out. Oh, this part too can be tricky. Because uh, if you're not careful, you, you just fly, out, fly off the stage. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't try to <laughs> attack right, right before that entrance there. stay over here. Oh. Man. Yeah. Pull the pull the head of me. Ha! <laughs> That's what you get. Alright, so if I don't mess up here, I think I should be alright. Nice. And final, final section here. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Yes. All right. Typically, I actually I, I get first place on Firefield, and then and then uh, I do slightly worse on here. So this is kind of reversed, but it's all right. I'll take it. Casino Palace. Oh, that the double branches. It's gonna be a little tricky. Um, yeah, max speed. It's gonna be a little tricky because there are a couple of sections where the uh, there are two paths where you can take, and then the paths intersect. And then if you are um, kind of in the middle of the pack and uh, half of the pack kind of splits off the other way uh, it's kind of tricky to navigate those intersections and get through without um, bumping into anybody it can really set you back I like this theme the stage theme too just like it's got this kind of like drum and bass but it's also jazzy at the same time. It's, it's really cool. It kind, of, it kind of actually reminds me of um, ooh, in, uh, of uh, Street Fighter Three. Some of the some of the uh, theme songs of uh, Street Fighter Three, which you know came out a couple of years back. So I think it's just kind of just common uh, around this era of gaming to to, to have those kinds of um, that kind of music, I guess. <sighs> that wasn't so good. Oh. Four attacks already, that's not so bad. Wow. If you notice this, the nice. <laughs> if you notice the courses are also getting longer, I think uh, the Emerald Cup has uh, longer courses than, than any of the courses in uh, Sapphire or Ruby, which are actually relatively short. <laughs> Let's see how many how many attacks I can I can rack up here. Oh geez, there's 
whizzing past me here. <laughs> yeah, messing up. Uh, yeah, so I, I I'm missing some of these accelerators on purpose because some like like I mentioned in, and I think I mentioned earlier that uh, the fire stingray doesn't have grip like that much grip. And if I get too fast in some of those some of those sections that that are that are kind of on a downhill, I end up flying off the stage. Whoa! What was that? Some kind of explosion? <laughs> I guess somebody did an attack. Oh, come on. Oh, whoa, I have a golden skull. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this many, this many attacks. I basically, I, it, yeah, we're down to 15, 15 contestants. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can catch up to this guy. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Ah well. I'll take it. I think I'm first overall though, yeah, cause like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I think I had the... my, my rival... my rival got knocked out. I don't even remember if I did it or, or if somebody else did it. So I guess the Golden Skull is 10? 10, 10 attacks? But there were 15... Anyway, uh, oh, lightning! This is now this one—it's it's a cool stage. Uh, it's got this like half pipe going on, but it can be really frustrating because uh, if if you if you go into a curve at a, at the wrong angle or something, uh, you tend to fly out. Oh man, lightning looks really awesome with these. Uh, graphics on the emulator because I remember on, the, on that f first lightning stage in uh, the Ruby Cup when I was still recording from the from the analog signal it, it was all muddy and you couldn't really see any of the details but you can really see the rain right now okay probably shouldn't be attacking too much here <laughs> and sliding all around but I can't help it I think I've, I've gotten kind of addicted <laughs> <laughs> okay, got a couple of attacks. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm focusing the driving though. I was gonna slide out. Ooh. Oh. No. Ah. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, see, like in that in that curve, I just I just hit it, hit it the wrong way, and just slid out. All right, maybe. Well, good thing I got an extra got an extra life. But maybe I should focus on. Ooh, just slipped out again. Focus on the driving instead of attacking. Of course, as soon as I said that, <laughs> I get the opportunity to attack and I just have to take it. <laughs> Can't help it. Whoa. 
Oh, I can attack. There we go. Nice. cool part where you go in a spiral. I like that little view of the tower in the, in the distance and the, the lightning sort of illuminating the silhouette. It's a really nice touch. <sighs> well, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to risk taking that accelerator. I had a feeling I was gonna I was gonna slip out. Oh man! That was a close call. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> a little a little nervous now. I'm gonna try to take every accelerator I can. So close. Just let me finish. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh. So I got two first place finishes, two second place finishes. I mean that should pretty much set me up. I'm I should be safe for the last for the last course. Yeah. I'm more than 100 points ahead, so so I should be I should be safe. All right, big blue ordeal, uh, and ordeal is is the right name for this. So let's put this yeah let's put this down a notch because I don't need to be on full speed. Ah, uh, so kind of like the blue the big blue in the sapphire cup. Uh, this this can be a pain in, pain in the butt. Uh, it's got these like corners where I keep hitting the walls. It's just uh, I'm not that good at it. But it can be fun. It can be like it, it's got a lot of jumps that make it sort of fun to play. So that's not. There are some nice things about this stage. I like. Yeah. Okay, so we're off to a good start here with the attacks. <laughs> nice. Ah. Oh, nice. Okay, got one. Let's see. Oh, no! Ah. Yeah, he got too greedy over there. I, I tried to attack Black Bull and then... Oh, come, oh, not Black Bull. Black Shadow. Dark Shadow? What's his name? <laughs> anyway, that guy. The Batman guy. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, this narrow... <laughs> this narrow portion is just... So well suited for for attacking them because I got nowhere to go and I just line up next to them and just go wow maybe I should just try to get as as many attacks as I can just see how many I can get <laughs> ooh I almost flew off the stage there yeah fortunately. I don't really have to worry about placing well in here. Ooh, ah, okay. I feel like if I'm if I'm in the top twenty, I should be a good. <laughs> I should be good.
Alright, let's see. Yes! 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 <laughs> I get 12 attacks so far. Ah. <laughs> We're down to 18 contestants and I think I've knocked out every single one <laughs> every single one of them. Let's go straight this time. What? I'm 17th, but like, or 15th now, 14th out of 17. <laughs> like, I can't be 30th if there aren't any, any <laughs> if I, there aren't 30 of them left. That's one strategy, I guess. My 13th out of 13. How many? How many were left in the end? It's cool. Oh, okay, out of like 16? 13 out of 16? So I'm not that great. But I'm first overall, so... I don't care. <laughs> I'm kind of considering doing a replay on this. Nah, nah, let's just do it. Let's just go ahead. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think I've ever had that many attacks in one in one course. Like I had four four attacks in fire field. Four attacks in green plant. And like ten in <laughs> Casino Palace. I think these longer laps or longer courses um, just end up being more conducive to like getting more attacks, yeah, F 15 attacks, nice. I mean obviously they're then, you have more more time, more opportunities, 36 total, more opportunities to actually land attacks, so um, the attack count can go up. Again, this is uh, something that I just got, got in the habit of doing more recently as I, as I started recording these videos. Because I realized that 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 was one of the one of the main ways that you can succeed by just basically trying to knock out your your rivals. All right, interview coming up. What are we? What are you gonna? What are we gonna ask Samurai Goro this time? Zero TV, who has brought you heated race after heated race, will now present an interview with the champion. Okay then, I'd like to ask you something. Let's see, uh, are you really a crime boss? Will you toast? What are we? Yeah, we haven't asked. Are you really a crime boss? Are you really the boss of a gang of thieves? Yes, I am, and I've stolen this victory. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. see. Thank you for the interview. And that's all for Adrenaline Driven F Zero TV. That's it. I mean, I like a pun as much as the next guy, next but that was kind of lame. F Zero TV. See you next time. Yeah, Diamond Cup is going to be another story. Uh, it's uh, it's not. It's not going to be easy. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, the, the one thing that I guess disappoints me about this game is that uh, there is not 
a blue, a big blue stage that I actually enjoy driving. In, in, in the original F Zero, Big Blue was actually one of my favorite um, courses to drive. Uh, not just because of the music, but because I actually just, like really just enjoy enjoy the the, the design of that course, and um, it, you know, I was actually good at driving it. With um, but with uh, the big blue stages in this in this game, I don't think I'm I'm very good at either of them. I mean, I think in the Sapphire Cup one, I I, I got sixth place, um, and that that's that was after lots and lots of practice to actually get somewhat decent at it and then and, and this one I mean this one was fun because I got to do all those attacks <laughs> and and in the end you know there was nothing at stake anymore because I was already I was already basically first place but it it um, was a little bit of a bummer that I, I, I didn't do as well as I as as it was as you know as was possible uh, I mean I guess I could have I probably could have boosted more than I did. I didn't, uh, you know, I, I didn't actually boost as much as I usually do with these uh, with these stages. But I just basically I just didn't want to mess it up. I didn't want to just um, fly off the course um, just at this, you know, in this in this last race where where I didn't really need to risk everything. So I I played it safe, and I mean I think. What was it in the end? Thirteenth place. Thirteenth place was fine, I suppose, but but it wasn't it wasn't my best performance. Um, although it's probably pretty much par for the course for um, that big blue ordeal course. All right. Well, here we are at the end. So thank you again for watching. And I hope you join me for the Diamond Cup. Have a good one.